if you see the power it is showing t it's mean the overload is a trip due to short short circuit or overload you can reset normal with this switch welcome to my youtube channel my name is zafar khan you are watching zk multitech friends today i will explain you magnet contactor and overload relay how do you understand all the point so now first i will show you contactor all point now you can see this three point you can see l1 l2 l3 1 3 5 this one three phase n okay these are the main supply three phase n which will go out through the overload relay you can see here it will go out through here and rest of point as for control how it's work you can see if you can see number 13 here mention no normally open for example normally open means like this is off now so this number 13 and number 14 there will be no connectivity and 21 22 you can see nc nc means there will be connectivity when it is off so if you put meter here it will give you beef so this is nc normally connect this to connect and you can see a1 and a2 a1 and a2 there is coil if you give power supply here so the conductor will get on so a1 and a2 you have power supply clear now you can see the overload relay you can see here reset button and stop button how it is work and also you have also ampere setting this contactor belong to 1.6 ampere and you can adjust like rotate the knob you can see it is set on 1.2 and you can set it like if you rotate it to here you can set like that 1.5 so this one is ampere setting and this one you can see test button okay you can see now this one you can test if you want to check the old load relay is okay or no for example i put on test now i will reset you can see this is working now and normally in the panel if because of overload it's get trip so it will show you like that so normally if you see the power it is showing t it's mean the overload is a trip due to short short circuit or overload you can reset normal with this switch like that and now you can see the stop button if you want to stop so you can just press this button so the contactor will stop so power no more power will go for the motor now you can see the point 97 98 95 96 how do you do connection you can see you you need to give one power to 95 and from 96 you need to take out like that to the a1 point clear like that so this power will go it will get on the contactor and now you need to take one loop from 95 to 98 so this power will come also here why because you need to connect the trip indicator from 97 you need to give one wire to the trip indicator once due to overload it's get trip so the trip indicator will goes on and this power will disconnect from the contactor and this power will go to the trip indicator so this is how the overload is working if you like my video subscribe to my channel you will get electrical air conditioning and refrigeration video from this channel thank you for watching see you in the next video